intro right on. Project I've been working on for a little bit here uh, means a lot to me. Place for 
change comes from Except that it is okay to live No matter what anyone says And when they put you down For whatever they think is wrong With having a little love inside your heart Wearing it on your arm Having a voice inside your mouth That when it speaks, it speaks so loud And when the truth comes pouring out They want to just shove it right back on down Because they know just what it is And what it is Is the voice of God And the sooner you catch on Sooner you can learn to love, learn from your mistakes, and understand what you made them for. The sooner you can see the message that surrounds them. And once you found them, we use them now. But never let them ever back around you. Have faith in people. Help them to see that free will gives us the power to choose to do anything it is that we will. Not everyone is ready, though. Not everyone can wrap their minds around this. But if you can, and you are, that is probably why you have found me. And it's why you are here. It's who you are. Find a way to best express what you feel in your heart. Keep it near. Make a movie. Write a book. Write a song. Tell a story. Paint a picture that is based on what you think is the most glorious thing that you believe to be in time and space. Don't you worry. Whatever you do, make sure it's for the good of everyone, not only just for you and the ones you care about. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you will never make it out. Mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, aunt. Don't ever let them tell you that your dreams cannot be attained with drive and with love and a little faith in your name. No matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone does, no matter if you can no longer see the light, just a freaking shine. And at the end of the tunnel, keep getting back up and know that somehow you created this as an obstacle to overcome. On your path to higher places, higher states of consciousness, a higher race, higher traits, enlightenment, heaven's gates, a smiling face, whatever it is called, wherever is your place, it is all achievable, it is what you call your grace, it's going to take some strong will and hard work to reach it, but it seems that we finally started picking up the pace, every single living thing has a special place in this world, find your connection to the universe, the river, Force that binds all living things together and makes us one. In turn, all capable of doing everything and anything anyone else is capable of. Age, gender, race, sexual orientation, a former life of goodness, or a worshiper of Satan. When you open up your heart to others and discover that everything that has happened has happened is a test just to see if you can pass it with flying colors. But no matter who has passed the last thing, Letting go is sometimes hard, but sadness seems as everlasting. Caskets closed and locked, lowered down into a damp pit. The sky is dark, not a single ray of light for you to bask in. That's when understanding plays a hand in your advancement. You can choose to be upset, choose to let the darkness have you, or you can accept that it's simply that. Let it flow right past you, and know that in your heart, that what we know is just a fraction. Well, letting go is hard, but not as hard as hanging on to what has happened already. Can't go back. Accepting death is the heart lesson to learn. To yearn for someone gone and wonder why. But have you ever stopped and thought they would need somewhere else and that it's time for them to answer a call? Get on a different plane and fly to a place where they are needed more to help to win the fight. And that they chose to leave this world, they chose to leave us all behind because they've seen a bigger picture. I know we'll see it when it's time, but they never leave completely. We still feel them deep inside, and that is how we've come to know that truly no one ever dies. And when you understand this, the death is inevitable. Got that voice in their head, letting them know they've done good, they've done bad. What makes you happy, what makes you sad? Of all the answers in you already, it's time to open up. You've already chosen where you are going. Let your love flow through the world like a river to the ocean, and ride the waves of positive emotion to the sea. Definitive devotion. You 
erosion of a form of self decrepit and corroded from the vibratory motion of the waves. And moving forward, she went out spinning an infinite divinity of symmetry and comprehensible sensibility, stability, tranquility, and the endless possibilities that love brings as its filling me. Love sings a song. Frequency with the ability to turn you on. Spinning right around and it's a sound that's outrageously contagious. To get there you will have to be the bravest of the bravest. Learn to walk, learn to crawl, learn to swim, learn to fall, and get back up. Spread your wings and learn to fly. But learn to begin again. But this time we have a heart full of we have a head full of information, a heart full of love, a reason for celebration. Sent down from above. Reasonable elevation, seasoned appreciation, a reason for everything to finally be falling right into place. Man, stand up, lift up your chin, put your shoulders back and smile. Take a deep breath in, keep smiling. Smile, cause you know that living and breathing love is a secret to this life. And that's when you're in front of everyone, putting on a show every waking second. Especially when you're alone. You create your own reality with every single thought you think. Don't ask me how I know. Take each thought captive and make it obedient to love. Is every decision you make with your highest integrity and respect to what others' perceptions may be? And are your decisions based on love? That's all God is. Isn't that who everyone's been making such a big stink of? God is love. Love comes from you. And when you live love, God comes through you and helps you write songs, make movies, paint pictures, and tell stories. But God is coming through you, and you are you. You are one and the same. Every one of us has more power in us than we can possibly know or imagine. We all have it. Figure out what you want to do to make this world a better place. The best thing you can do to evoke change is to start with yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself twice, three times. Whatever. If you've been messing up, you know, make it right. If they don't forgive you, that's okay. Maybe you deserve it. I know I do. Learn from your mistakes. Take responsibility for your own actions. You can do and be anything you want. Look to yourselves and to your loved ones for guidance. Plant a garden. Love gardens. Support your local farmers. But be good to people. Be good to yourself. Treat everybody as if they were you. What would you do in that situation?